Hello everyone, welcome back to Bear, I'm Stephanie. For today's video, it is titled First Aid Beauty. I'm going to be showing you the things that I use in order to help control my acne and my hyperpigmentation. Now you're probably looking at me and thinking, hmm, where is that acne on her face that she is so-called stating that she's controlling? I do get acne. I get it in the form of hormonal and it is primarily focused just around this area of my face. The first thing I will do is I pull out my pimple mask is what I just pretty much call it. And this is by the brand Ahava. It's the Time to Clear Purifying Mud Mask. It is absolutely the best mask to tackle the pimple. So what I started to think was every time I used this mask, I noticed that whiteheads would come up to the surface fairly quick and then they'd be gone. So I just put two and two together and I thought, I think it's this mask pushing everything up to the surface and we're talking pushing it up quick. So what I do is I push up just a tiny, tiny amount at the top and I just put it, dab it right on the pimple. Then I just go about my business and I leave this on the pimple itself for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe even longer. Do the rest of my PM skincare routine, go to bed. In the morning, boom, each and every time it's a whitehead. There's also another mask that I use that I incorporate just into my nightly mask routine but it also is very good when it comes to trying to not only clear out your pores, but also it starts to fade the dark marks quick. This is my holy grail. I've snapped about this when I was using it that particular night. It is my hands down holy grail. I call it my ride or die mask and it's the Indian healing clay and this is the Aztec secret. So what I do is I have this cup that I just picked this, it's a hair mixing for hair dye. I picked this up at Sally's and I use a plastic spoon and just scoop out one scoop of the clay and I mix it with one scoop of apple cider vinegar and I use the Bragg's apple cider vinegar, the organic kind. Just mix it together little ASMR for you. Does it make any tingle? Okay, if you are acne prone skin or you have a lot of dark marks on your face, try either one of those masks. I recommend both and see if they make any difference in how your overall skin looks. Next, let's talk about some topical solutions. The first is going to be from Clinique. This is their Acne Solutions Gel and it's their clearing gel. This helps, again, with whiteheads. It just helps push everything up to the surface. Of any type of acne medication that's over the counter that you can purchase in a store, this is the only kind that I have felt that has worked the best for my skin. Next, I have our two other items. Yes, this is garlic, and you're like, what the heck is she carrying that for? And this one is tea tree oil. Now, the garlic I noticed, it didn't do anything really different to my skin. I didn't like smelling like spaghetti sauce. It was very strong on me. I did it because I wanted the pimple honestly to go away, but I just didn't really see a huge change on my skin. When I used the tea tree oil, I noticed that my skin just seemed to react better to the tea tree oil. The pimple would be gone so fast. With this particular container, I take a cotton swab and I get it saturated at the top and then I just apply it right onto the pimple itself and it just starts to do a thing. It doesn't burn on my skin. I don't have to dilute this and it works fine. Now after I apply the tea tree oil on the pimple with one side of the cotton swab, I flip the other side over and I apply Neosporin. This really helps me, especially with my skin tone, when the pimple heals, it always leaves the dark mark. When I put this Neosporin on and I use it in conjunction with the tea tree oil, the Neosporin is it's gonna help heal the pimple itself, but really I wanted to focus on the skin area. Another first aid item that I use on my skin is 
3% hydrogen peroxide. So I have a huge bottle I keep in my bathroom. And when I have a white head, and usually when I'm putting it on my toner, it will just pop open on its own because I'm you know, rubbing the toner on my skin. I will finish with my toner application. I get another cotton swab and I immediately use the hydrogen peroxide and I just saturate the cotton swab and I put it right on the pimple. Something, another step, another measure that I've noticed that when I clean out my whitehead, my pimple with hydrogen peroxide, it is, it is, it just heals so much faster. Okay, next are two items. One I reserve for day use and the second one is for PM use. Now for AM use, this is something that I notice that every time I add this to my skincare regimen and I use it maybe about once per year, it fades not only the dark marks fast on my face, it's the item that people say, you're glowing, your skin is glowing, radiant, glow, radiant, glow. It's always the same thing. And it wasn't until I introduced this into my regimen, all the comments started to happen. And I said, you know what, I think it's this product. This is by Myzon, it's the Mela Defense White Capsule Essence. Reviews on this product was hit or miss. Either it worked wonderful on one person's skin and the other one, it did absolutely nothing. On me, I took a chance, I got it, I won't ever stop using it. The last item is reserved for night use, and this is from Glycolic Formulation, and it it's their night therapy cream. It's 25% glycolic acid. That is a hefty dose of acid in here. However, I absolutely have to have it. <laughs> so what I do is, it's a fairly thick cream. I do not put this all over my face though. After I've done everything on my face, my night cream, everything, I will take a cotton swab and dip it into the cream. And then what I will do is I just put the cream right on to the dark mark. And then with a clean finger, just pat it in and then just go to bed. Any area in which I notice I have darkness and I'm starting to actually apply this like around the perimeter of my mouth which is just naturally dark because of my skin tone and you know a lot of us women have you know the darker uh, mustache the darkness um, on our top lip a lot of us have that I've started to incorporate this into those areas and it's already lightening those areas only put it on the dark mark itself I don't put it anywhere else um, and, and it works fine. So again, if your skin can take it, it's 25%. I just don't have the patience. <laughs> I want it faded and I want it gone. So I will take the chance, but it's the product that has worked very well for me and I'm gonna continue to use it. And that's it. That is what I do to combat my uh, adult acne. Everybody is different. And I will always throw that out there. Our skin is completely different. So I recommend if you can, you know, go to your doctor, talk with your doctor, go see a dermatologist, especially if your acne is quite severe. And look at areas, look at products, look at what you can do to help maintain those. You never know, it could be something inside your body that's triggering stuff. It could be the outside elements. You never really know. But those are the items, that's the approach that I prefer to take and they've been working very well for me. Especially the first aid items like the Neosporin, like the hydrogen peroxide. These are items that we already have in our first aid kit as if let's say we fell and scraped our knee. This is stuff that we're gonna already put on our skin to help heal the skin or heal the scar. I still take it like that approach and I will still do it like that on my own personal face. I do wanna thank you for stopping by and watching. I do appreciate it. You taking time out of your day to watch and I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.